Our currency is crashing and will soon no longer be the world standard, which will be our greatest defeat, frankly, in 200 years. There will be no defeat like that. That will take us away from being even a great power. Since the fall of Soviet Russia, the United States has been on the top of the international stage. We're the military, economic juggernaut of the world, so much so that the entire international economy runs on the dollar. And we've been doing everything to protect that. Shalom. I would like to give our honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rokakwadash. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you sincere Akim, pushing this word out across the four corners of the world. Just another news update through the spirit, the power, and the vibration of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I have an article from activistpost.com and the title says 11 signs that U.S. consumers are in very serious trouble as we head into the final stretch of 2023. And this article was published on November the 19th, 2023. And when you see the word sign, it's synonymous to omens, tokens, confirmations. And through the spirit, this article just pretty much evidence that this American empire, which is known as Babylon the Great, according to the Holy Bible, is definitely circling the drain. And when something or someone is circling the drain, they are going on a downward spiral or a rapid decline before they meet their inevitable demise or death. Hence, America's economic downturn, which is a prolonged decline when the value of stocks, property, commodities start to fall. And the productivity either grows slowly or start to decline. And all of this is a part of the economic cycle or the business cycle, which goes into that natural fluctuation of the economy between periods of growth and contraction. So therefore, the current status of America's economic downturn is affecting the GDP, which is the gross domestic product. So 11 signs that U.S. consumers are in very serious trouble as we head into the final stretch of 2023. And that takes me to Exodus 7 and 1. And the Lord Yahweh said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a God to Pharaoh, and Aaron thy brother should be thy prophet. Thou shalt speak all that I command thee, and Aaron thy brother should speak unto Pharaoh, that he send the children of Israel out of his land. And here's the point in verse 3. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. So if the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, did this aforetime, a.k.a. ancient Egypt, and as it says in Romans 15 and 4, for whatsoever things that were written aforetime were written for our learning. So therefore, how much more in that new spiritual Egypt, which is referring to America? All right, so back to the article. U.S. consumers are getting weaker and weaker and weaker. Today, debt levels have risen to unprecedented heights, but thanks to roaring inflation, our standard of living has been steadily going down. Most Americans are working extremely hard, but they have very little to show for it. And now the latest economic downturn is really starting to bite. Layoffs are starting to surge again, once thriving businesses are shutting down all over the nation and hunger and homelessness are exploding. If economic conditions continue to deteriorate at this pace, what would things look like a year from now? For decades, we have been able to count on U.S. consumers to just keep spending money no matter what the economic outlook was. But now things have changed. The following are 11 signs that U.S. consumers are in very serious trouble as we head into the final stretch of 2023. Number one, U.S. renters are spending 30% of their incomes just on rent. Renters remain burdened in the U.S. during the third quarter of 2023, despite a slight improvement as insurance costs to landlords mounted, according to a new report by Moody's Analytics. Moody's Analytics found that in Q3, the U.S. rent-to-income ratio, RTI, declined slightly by 0.5% and ended at 30%, a level that is the threshold for being rent burdened. Renters are considered burdened if their rent payments consume 30% or more of their gross or pre-tax income. 
This comes after last year marked the first time that the median renter household in the U.S. paid over 30% of their income on an average price apartment when the national RTI reached a high of 30.8%. Number two, one food bank executive just told USA Today that she is seeing the worst rate of hunger in my career right now. This is the worst rate of hunger in my career, said Morgan, who has worked at food banks in Boston, San Francisco, and Anchorage, Alaska. It's so large, it's hard to wrap your head around. Number three, Wells Fargo just shut down 13 bank branches in a single week. Six banks filed to close almost 40 branches last week, leaving millions of Americans without access to vital financial services, with Wells Fargo alone accessing 13 locations. Wells Fargo has been a leader in the closure of branches around the country, having closed 160 in the first half of the year, according to data from S&P Global Market Intelligence. Number four, average hourly earnings for all employees have fallen by 3.32% since Joe Biden entered the White House. Millions of Americans have received a pay cut over the past two years thanks to high inflation, a blow to President Biden as he attempts to center his re-election campaign around Biden nummies. The Labor Department reported Tuesday that average hourly earnings for all employees was $11.05 in October, a 3.32% decline from the $11.43 figure in January 2021 when Biden took office. Number five, Due to a lack of consumer demand, three different major Burger King franchises have recently declared bankruptcy. I'll jump down to number six. Vice Media has announced that it will be laying off dozens of staffers. Vice Media, the one-time digital media darling that has seen its value and influence greatly diminish in recent years, moved on Thursday to further hollow out its once prestigious news division, shutting down several shows and laying off dozens of staffers. Number seven, according to Challenger, Gray, and Christmas, almost 20,000 media jobs have already been eliminated this year. Nearly 20,000 jobs have been eliminated across the media industry this year as of October, according to Challenger, Gray, and Christmas. Number eight, Amazon is laying off hundreds of workers in its Alexa division. Amazon on Friday said that it is cutting several hundred jobs within its Alexa division. The layoffs come as the e-commerce giant is shifting some of our efforts to better align with our business priorities and what we know matters most to customers, which includes maximizing our resources and efforts focused on generative AI, an Amazon spokesperson confirmed to Fox Business. Number nine, just in time for the holidays, Citigroup has decided to conduct large-scale layoffs. Citigroup will soon begin layoffs in CEO Jane Frazier's corporate overhaul, CNBC has learned. Employees affected by the cuts will be informed starting Wednesday, with new dismissals announced daily through early next week, according to people with knowledge of the situation. Those impacted will include chiefs of staff, managing directors, and some lower-level employees, said the people. The cuts will spread to more rate and file staff by February, they added. Number 10, as consumer wealth has dried up, federal tax receipts have been falling on a quarterly basis since the third quarter of 2022. Rather, federal spending is rising even as federal revenues have fallen year over year for 10 of the last 12 months. Moreover, on a quarterly basis, federal receipts have been falling quarter to quarter since the third quarter of 2022. Number 11. 80% of U.S. households are actually poorer than they were when the C-19 pandemic originally hit this country. As of June, the bottom 80% of households by income, when adjusted for inflation, had lower bank deposits and other liquid assets compared to their status in March 2020. The decline marks a significant shift from the initial phases of the pandemic, where various factors, including government financial support, and restricted spending opportunities during lockdowns led to an accumulation of excess savings. So as you can see, America is going through a mid-life crisis. And I came across some news earlier how Home Depot are taking major economic losses as well, as they were classified as the worst revenue miss within 20 years, which means that the less the consumers shop at Home Depot also means less demand to buy and renovate their houses. 
So therefore, that's taking a major effect upon the housing market. Then on the top of that, you have the rise of hunger and homelessness becoming a growing pain. And also these large scale layoffs coming from these major corporations. And all of these inflation woes are happening in the midst of your so-called holiday season, which is supposed to be a time that you be joyous and carefree. But now these prideful Americans are barely making ends meet. And that's taking a major effect upon this economic cycle. And it's producing more of an economic downturn. So America, again, which is Babylon the Great, and according to the book of Revelation, it's classified as that great whore, has hit the wall. And again, within this article, these are nothing but omens, confirmations, and tokens that Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shah is bringing this place down. And whenever he does this to an empire, it always starts out spiritually, morally, economically, then the physical manifestation would take place. And all of the prophets of old all marvel about the current times that we are in now, which are the end times. And that takes me to Habakkuk 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I reprove. And the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables. So that vision can be aligned with that divine communication, a.k.a. prophecy, which is by having that spiritual eye self and declaring something before it already occurs. So write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run and read it. And the prophets are, oh, they really can fully understand of those certain visions that the Heavenly Father Yahweh gave them concerning these end times are made plain unto those true and righteous prophets that are in their respected lots in this day of time. Like the book of Isaiah 19 and 15, how it goes into, neither should there be any work for Egypt, which is referring to that new spiritual Egypt, America. And that's causing major burdens, stress, anxiety, and pressure upon you prideful Americans. And that takes me to Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. In the day when the keepers of the house should tremble, which goes into these different stock market watchers, these different guys on Wall Street and these different top economists and the strong men should buy themselves. This goes into these international bankers, the hierarchy of Esau Edom, who are intentionally engineering this so-called economic collapse. And I came across an article today that the IMF, which is the International Monetary Fund, they released a handbook for global central banks regarding the development and implementation of central bank digital currencies, a.k.a. CBDCs. So Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah have a heavy spirit upon these international bankers to stir up all this chaos concerning this economic downturn in order to implement their great reset by bringing an end to this cash-based economy. And it's going to be transitioning to a digital currency paradigm. So in the day when the keepers of the house should tremble and the strong men should bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few. Which goes into the workforce of America. And we just read from that article from Activist Post. Many people are being laid off from their jobs. And the consequences of that, right here as it says, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. Which means that you're filled with sadness, anxiety, and uncertainty. All of your different aspirations, goals, objectives that you had once for this so-called American dream, it's all becoming gloomy. Verse 4, and the doors should be shut in the streets when the sound of the ground is low, again going into these jobs, and he should rise up at the voice of the bird, which is synonymous to these alarm clocks, and all the daughters of music should be brought low. And there was another part I want to bring out within this article, and it says right here, most Americans have been getting poorer, but the cost of living just keeps getting even more oppressive. As a result, the middle class is literally being hollowed out. So let's get right quick. How it goes into about how the cost of living just keeps getting even more oppressive. And that takes me to Isaiah 14 verse 4. That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and that's beginning with these international bankers, the hierarchy of Esau Edom. And say, how have the oppressor ceased 
the golden city cease. And that golden city is referencing to America. And the key clue of that, you had the golden age of America, which started around the 1950s. And that era was considered as the pinnacle of America's economy. So therefore, it would be considered as an economic upturn or an economic boom. And it was an article came out years ago from marketwatch.com, like in 2017, and they stated the U.S. economy would never have another golden age. And that reminds me of that scripture within Ecclesiastes 9 and 11, how time and chance happened unto them all. So America had their time of glory and those days are over. So back again in this article, it says, as a result, the middle class is literally being hollowed out, meaning to be phased out. And remember, as we read earlier within Habakkuk, the second chapter about that vision, again, which goes into that divine communication or prophecy that was set for an appointed time. Because all of these inflation woes, this economic downturn, and the list goes on, it's all leading into a major, major biblical prophecy. And that's Revelation, the 13th chapter, and the 16th to the 17th verse. As it says, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bun, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might bow himself, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. But the point is, that scripture within Revelation, the 13th chapter and the 16th verse, it did not say anything about the middle class. It only stated rich and poor. So therefore, it's intentional by the hierarchy of Esau Edom to wipe out the so-called American middle class. And that's because it's a major fulfillment of biblical prophecy. And it's stated right here. The absolutely massive gap between the ultra wealthy and everyone else has become an extremely pressing issue in this country. And it is going to lead to enormous civil unrest during the chaotic years that are ahead of us. Our leaders were able to keep the economy propped up for a long time by injecting trillions of fresh dollars into the system. But now the end game has arrived and it is going to be incredibly painful. And we are definitely within those times concerning biblical prophecies of 2 Ezra the 15th chapter and 2 Ezra the 16th chapter are coming to the forefront. And this is 2 Ezra 16 verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the powers should stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Verse 19. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. And all of these things are going to be the reality of this place, America, and really around the four corners of the world very soon. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah are about to inflict some serious and severe sufferings upon these inhabitants of the world, especially America, again, which is known as Babylon the Great. This sinful kingdom is already pending for some serious divine judgment. So that concludes the lesson through the spirit. 11 signs that U.S. consumers are in very serious trouble as we head into the final stretch of 2023. So with that, hopefully you all was edified. You all stay strong. Keep pushing forward. Shalom.